cereal heads. Ooh, it's morning already. But what do you do when you're out of milk and you have lots of cereal? Well, you can do what I do. Take a whole handful and munch on them. But you don't want to do that. You want something exciting in your morning. So today's Cereal Snacks is going to take you into that exciting world of just snacking until your heart's content and getting your fill of cereal at the same time. <clears throat> so, from General Mills comes the answer to that problem. In the form of Lucky Charms treats. Now, I'm real excited about this because Lucky Charms was like the first cereal I ever had that had marshmallow bits in it. And I fell in love with marshmallow bits. Any cereal that had marshmallow bits in it, I would grab it, try it, and then make a judgment as to whether it was good or not. And most of them were great. The one that started it all was Lucky Charms. So let's see how well these marshmallow bits taste in the form of a treat. Now, the whole bar, just like with Rice Krispie Treats, the whole bar is based on the entire cereal. So you'll get the regular pieces in there as well. Okay, so right off the bat, you'll get a whole box of them. There are eight of them in a box. <laughs> and bars about that size. This is in comparison to my hand. So it's about that size. So they're not as big and fluffy as uh, Rice Krispie Treats. So right off the bat, if you're thinking that it's going to be kind of like that, you're kind of going to be disappointed when you see the size. And right now, I'm kind of disappointed at the marshmallow bits that I'm getting. Look at that. Sad, pathetic, scattered amount of marshmallow bits. Now look at the front of the box. They look just like they do in the cereal. They look like they just poured it right from the box. It's You can recognize all the marshmallow bits. Now look at this. Where it's just marshmallow pieces of different colors. And it kind of looks like confetti treats. You know, those confetti treats, those ice cream confetti marshmallow sprinkle type things that you find like like giant pieces of like confetti pieces and something yeah that's what it looks like to me i i'm not seeing okay i'm seeing like a a red balloon but that's it i'm not seeing the rainbow i'm not seeing orange stars i'm not seeing purple horseshoes or you know blue diamonds or, or green hats. I'm not seeing anything green in this product at all. Oh, wait, wait. There it is. There's a green hat right between there and right over there. Okay, so they have green hats. But that's all I'm seeing right now. But let's, let's just see how it tastes. Because now I'm kind of curious as to how General Mills had put together a duplicate of their own version of Rice Krispie Treats in the form of of a um, treat from uh, Lucky Charms. Here we go. Mm. Well... The taste is exactly like Lucky, Lucky Charms. But because of the fact that the marshmallow bits are very scattered, you don't really get the same sensation as you would taking a big bite out of the cereal. I mean, the flavor is right there. The flavor is there. The bar itself is pretty soft. It's easy on the teeth. 
You get that same crunching sensation of taking your first bite of Lucky Charm cereal. But the one prime component in that cereal that made a difference and made it stand out against other cereals was the marshmallow bits. Now, in one bite, you'll get a very strong flavor of just the regular cereal pieces. Another bite, you might get a strong hit of a marshmallow bit. The flavor doesn't disappoint. I don't know. I mean, I guess I was expecting bigger marshmallow bit pieces. And then looking at what I got and was very disappointed with it. So, to the eye, it doesn't look like much. I mean, even the cereal pieces themselves, the oat pieces, look like that they've melted. But that's what happens when you, like, you know, put it together with, uh, ah, with you dropping it all over the place. No. That's what happens when you put it together with, um, I guess, with the corn syrup and the other ingredients. Because I don't think that was white chocolate that time. I think that was kind of some kind of a sugar corn syrup mixture to help hold everything together. Maybe like a marshmallow mixture. They added a little bit to, for the stringiness, the stretchiness. I don't know. But anyway, let's take a look at the box here. As I shown you the front. But uh, it says Leprechaun Trap. Leprechaun Trap. Why would I want... Oh, yeah, then you re remember the cereal where they try to catch Lucky and his Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. But, well, okay, so I guess before we get to the back of the box... We'll, we'll excite you with the magic that Lucky is showing by putting marshmallow bits to uh, the, uh, the treats. Well, I hate to tell you this, Lucky, but the marshmallow bits don't look like bits anymore, and I couldn't find one single rainbow in my treats. But that's just one bar. I, I haven't really fully eaten this box yet, as you can see. I still have seven left. That was just the first bar. And I love the convenience of the fact that you can just, like, enjoy your favorite cereals on the go again, which is the purpose of cereal snacks. Take it on the go. If you're in a hurry, just grab it and walk out the door, and you're already there. As opposed to sitting down at the table, pouring the cereal, pouring the milk, eating the cereal, drinking the milk, putting the bowl in the sink, rinsing it out, and then going out the door. You can get the same sensation of all of that in this bar of... Lucky Charms treats. Now, on the back of the box here, this is our leprechaun trap. You see? Right here, inside Lucky's house, and I can only presume it's Lucky's house because it looks like his hat. This is what the trap is. It's a door. Come on, General Mills. Get a little more creative with the back of your box. For starters... Who is going to go to their parents and go, Mommy, Mommy, I want you to help me with this leprechaun trap. And it even says on the back of the box, Ask a grown-up for help in cutting out the door. Have an adult help out along... Or help cut along the dotted line. Why do you need an adult to help you cut along the dotted line? I mean, don't kids usually cut with those little rounded edge scissors? Can't they do it themselves? I can imagine, like, if you're one to three years old, you haven't really grasped the concept of scissors other than running around the house with them in your hand. But if you're, like, seven, eight, nine, ten, why do you need to go to an adult to help you cut out a little tiny thing like this? 
It's not as if you're constructing something complicated. It's just a door. And why just a door to trap a leprechaun when you know it's just a door that opens and closes? And they call it a leprechaun trap. Okay, so out of curiosity, you know what? Out of sheer non-imagination, I'm going to have to take a down, a down point just for that alone. Just for the excitement of the box because they ran plumb out of ideas, it's obvious, of what to do about the back of this box. So you lose a point for that. You lose a point for being stupid. Well, I wouldn't really say General Mills is getting stupid. But they could be a little bit more creative with the back of the box. If you're not going to put anything fun, don't put anything at all. But they do put the ingredients list and they do put the nutritional values back there. So you can definitely go over and see if it's appropriate for your taste buds and for your body. But all in all, I would say that this is pretty reminiscent to the flavor of Lucky Charms. But if you're going to look for something that's got flair, it's got Schwag Aviv, it's got energy, it's got, you know, it's got a beautiful rainbow colorful appearance, you're looking in the wrong box. Sorry, but your colors are in another box. But that's what you get in Lucky Charms. It's about the, the colorful marshmallow bits that you wouldn't find in any other cereal. Now, maybe maybe I am giving it a hard time about that. Maybe it was my first bar after all. So I'm willing to give it one more shot and open up another bar to see what this one looks like. And if it's anything like the first bar... Okay. Wow. Wow. Whoa, I stand corrected, General Mills. You've impressed me. This one's much better much much better you can actually see the marshmallow bits here and you can see that you got blue diamond you got a pink heart you got i don't know what the hell that is and you got there's a little piece of the hat right there you see green right there and there's another piece right there this is what i'm talking about general mills marbits we need marbits Now that's more like it. That's more like it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now that's the flavor I remember. So, yeah, I guess if you get a disappointing bar of Lucky Charms treats, go for another one. Give it a chance to open up another one. Because you never know. You just might have had just a really lousy bar. Hmm. Well, I must say that that bar did not disappoint. Now, if that had been, had been my first bar, the score for the snack would have been higher. But, you know, I'm still going to have to take that point away for about as un uncreative as the back of this box is. Sorry, General Mills, but come up with a different idea than just a door. A door. How, how is that possible to be fun? How is that fun in any way, shape, or form? How is that going to be fun? I don't know. I'm still questioning it. But you don't have to question the value of this product when I give it a four out of five stars. That's right, four. It's got the flavor. 
It's got the marbits. It's got the sensation of taking your first bite of Lucky Charms. It's conveniently on the go, so you can grab it and go out the door. And you get the same sensational flavor. The only drawback is that some bars are more fulfilling than others in the ways of Marbits. And is very lame back of the box. Other than that, General Mills has got a good idea with this. So, I'd say four out of five stars for General Mills Lucky Charms Treat Bars. So that's all the time we have for tonight's cereal snacks. Tonight, it's still morning. That's all the time we have for today's cereal snacks. And I want to tell you, keep searching that marketplace. Keep looking around the grocery and keep your eye on the prize because you never know when you're going to find a winner. It's just a door. It's just a door. <laughs> 